Okay, I made these bowls a few days ago and they've been sitting on my board wrapped up under plastic. So now at this point, my bowls are pretty firm. So I can pick them up carefully still and I can hold them and even give them a little squeeze without them flexing. This is good, this is where you want them to be. At this point, the clay is considered leather hard. So it's the in-between state of soft, mushy, malleable clay and hard, dried out, bone dry clay. And this is where we want to be. <clears throat> so at this point, I like to work on a banding wheel here. Um, and we really need to smooth um, and compress the exterior of this um, press mold bowl. So we did that to the inside already. We, s we scraped it and we smoothed it. Now we need to do the same to the outside. So for this outside, I'm gonna just use the metal serrated rib here. So I'm going to first use the teeth to go around the outside. When I do this, I want to scrape really hard. So I want to get in there and blend everything together. So I already used this, the serrated edge, the teeth, to dig in and blend all the clay. And now again I'm using this smooth edge to come back and smooth out the exterior. Really get down to it. Now note, every time I make a pass at this, I smooth it and then I clean the debris off my blade. So I kind of fall into a rhythm of swiping and wiping. Swipe, wipe, swipe, wipe. So you can go pretty quick with it um, and really clean this sucker up. I want to get around the whole thing. I'm kind of going around the sides, but you can also go in different directions, whatever is comfortable. As I'm cleaning the outside, I wipe my blade off every time. If I don't, there's debris on there, and as I go back over it, it'll just redeposit. So if I just keep doing this, I'm just kind of going in circles, and it's never really getting clean. So each time I go past this as I'm, as I'm fine tuning it, I clean my blade off. Okay, at this point I have most of the bowls smoothed out. I'm not super worried about getting way down to the very edge of the bowls because as we put them together later on in the project, we're gonna go back over and rough up that seam. Um, and destroy it a little bit as we rebuild it. So I'm not super worried about that as much as I am about the bottom and the, the majority of the bowl. So I can note I can note on the banding wheel that there's degrees of circles on here. They start with the smallest and they expand and get bigger. And these are a tool that we can use to give rough measurements. So as I put my bowl on here we want our bowl to spin smoothly. So I can use these to eyeball it. So if my bowl is close to the line over here, as I follow that line, I can see it's far away over here. So as I spin my banding wheel, you can see how it wobbles around. So it's off center. So if I come back over here, I've got, it's, it's right against the line here, and there's some space here, so I can give this a little scooch and just check that it's basically the same, the, the, the distance from this, this outer line here is the same. And now my bowl spins a lot more smoothly. It's not gonna be perfect all the time, but it's pretty close. At this point, I wanna lock, when I get it spinning smoothly, I wanna lock it down on here. So I can use a little chunk of clay and roll it into little balls of clay. Um, and put this on either side of my bowl on the banding wheel. Now at the same time, I wanna push these down. Okay? And then I'll do two more. So we're essentially making an X across this thing. So I'm doing two more, I'm pushing down at the same time. If I don't push down at the same time, if I push on one side, it might scooch over and then it'll be off center. But if we push down at the same time, it'll lock it into place. Okay, so we've got this thing locked down with a little wadding, and now we're ready to start putting the foot on. So I'm gonna, by putting the foot on, 
I'm gonna have this thing spinning and I can determine where I want my foot to go. Do I want to have a really narrow foot? Or maybe a little bit wider? Or maybe I want to have a really, really wide foot so it can come way out. I think I'm gonna go with this middle one. So I'm gonna just kind of erase that. I can polish over that later. Erase this middle one, or this the smallest one. So as it's spinning, I can come in and I can score the area where I'm gonna attach my foot. Now I need to make the coil. So I'm gonna take a chunk of clay and I can start by squeezing it to get it into a coil shape, stretching it out a little bit. And then I can really carefully roll this. You wanna have a nice coil where the edges are parallel. It doesn't have to be, again, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but pretty good, pretty decent. As opposed to, you have a, a coil that you're stretching out and one side smaller than the other. You're not setting yourself up to have an easy time of working. So something that's basically parallel, doesn't have to be great, parallel even. Okay, so I'm going to score this. So I have both parts scored. I have my coil scored here and my bowl scored here. I'm going to take a little bit of water and just drip it into the threads. I don't want to rub it in because then you'll start to smooth out those score marks. And I can take my coil starting with one end with my fingers on either side. I'm first going to smoosh this down and get it attached really well. So I have my fingers on either side of the coil, on the inside and the outside, and I'm pressing this down. Sometimes this happens where I run out, and that's okay, I'll just get a little more to fill in that gap. And just squish that right in there, that's okay. Just blend the seams together. So now we have our foot, it's attached on here, it's not peeling off very easily. It would take some effort to pull this off. Okay, so I got it attached. Now I want to blend the seams on the outside and on the inside. So I'm just going to take my finger around the inside and blend the seam on the inside and then on the outside. Just blending this in really nicely. Now that we've got this attached really well and the edges are blended together really nicely, the last thing I want to do before I start smoothing it is just go around one time and just really lightly pinch this. We don't want to thin it out too much, but I just want to make sure it feels even or basically even all the way around. So if there's any thick spots, I just want to thin those out just a little bit. So maybe right here is a little thick. The rest of it seems pretty good. And now we're ready to start smoothing this out. Now when we do this, it's going to get a little bit thinner as we go. So we don't want to make this too thin. In the end, we want this, the foot, the thickness of the foot here to be about a quarter of an inch, about the size of my pinky finger. So I just want to make it a little bit thinner, but a whole lot smoother. So I'm going to just get a little bit of water on my fingertips as I start spinning the banding wheel. Just making sure there's water all over this. It doesn't have to be dripping all crazy down the sides. But just making sure there's water all over it. There we go. Now I can use the spinning motion of the banding wheel and because the clay is so soft, just the light pressure of my fingers will smooth this out. So I'm starting at the bottom where it connects to the bowl. And then slowly as I smooth it, I can work my way up and through the top of the rim. I don't want to I don't worry about the top of the rim just yet. We're gonna get there. 
We're just worrying about the walls right now, making sure they're smooth on the inside and the outside. Now that I got the sides on the outside and the inside thinned out just a little bit and smoothed out, now we can level the top. So I can come in with my knife tool, my fettling knife or a potter's knife and we can really slowly get it spinning fast. I'm anchoring my elbow so I can slowly come in and first draw a line that connects and then slowly go through the whole thing and just level that top off. <clears throat> when you do this, the edges are pretty sharp. So now we can come back with some wet fingers and just soften the edges. And now this thing is pretty easy to work with. The, the walls are pretty even as they're spinning around and smoothed out and the top is leveled off. So if I wanted, I could come in with my fingers and I could squeeze the top edge to round it out go around or the, or the way you hold your fingers is important I could come in with two fingers like this if I wanted an, an edge on there it's all kinds of different ways that you can make this foot unique now that I've got my foot where I want it, I'm ready to let that start firming up and ready to start working on the neck of my vase. I'm going to take the lugs off, the wadding, and carefully I can pick this up by cupping it with my hands and setting it back down on the rim on my board. It's not ready to have that sit on the foot yet because we just made it and it's really soft. We want that to firm up. That's why we made it first. We let it sit on the rim here, okay? Now we're ready to start working on the neck. So we're gonna get this set up in the same way.